I'm Jeff Gillis Davis. I'm the PI of ICE 50, one of the survey nodes here in St. Louis. And I want to welcome you to St. Louis, Missouri, what we uh, euphemistically call the flyover country as you fly from the East Coast to the West Coast or vice versa. We see your planes all the time. Thanks for stopping. <laughs> I hope you have a, a great meeting. I just want to welcome you here. Um, I am the host for the St. Louis, Missouri part. I have a co-host, Nina Webb, who is some, right, right there. Thank you, Nina, for all your hard work. I'll let Greg introduce the Ames team who have also put in a lot of time and effort for this. Um, but I also wanna thank our sponsors, uh, McDonald Center for Space Sciences here on campus. They have put in a lot of money to help support the uh, travel grants for early faculty and grad students. They also are supporting the luncheon on Wednesday, which we do have a few spots for the luncheon, the networking luncheon. So please see me or Nina um, so that we can have you uh, join us, it would be great. Last night's welcome was supported by arts and sciences and physics. So uh, they brought the music and the free drinks. On Wednesday, during the poster session, BAE Systems will uh, be sponsoring the, the drinks and um, food there. So make sure you reach out and say thank you to them. Um, Macy Sanford is probably in the room. She's the contact right there, so you can see her. Um, and now I'd want to introduce uh, our Vice Dean of Research, Deanna Barch. She's a professor of radiology and psychological and neurological sciences here on campus. And as vice dean, she has offered a lot of support for uh, Survey being here on campus and for ICE 50. And with that, I'd like to thank Deanna Barch and welcome her to the stage. Thank you, Jeff. Uh, as Jeff said, I'm Deanna Barch. I'm the Vice Dean of Research in Arts and Sciences and faculty here in Arts and Sciences. And it's really my pleasure to welcome all of you attendees of the NASA Exploration Science Forum to Washington University. Um, I'm actually originally from St. Louis, so I don't think of it as flyover country, but I am still happy that you have <laughs> stopped here. Um, and I'm really here to welcome you on the part of our Dean uh, Dean Feng Cheng Hu, who is out of the country right now. Um, we were so pleased to be able to provide support to this exciting and important forum, and we feel very honored uh, that you've chosen to come here. Um, as some of you may know, Washington University has a very long track record of support and dedication for outstanding space science research, including the establishment of the McDonald Center for Space Sciences. Um, and we are committed to recruiting and retaining outstanding faculty and postdocs and graduate students in space science. Um, this work is so critical. Um, it really, we feel like it really helps us understand, you know, so much that's important about our world and off our world. And I would maybe argue that this has never been more important than it is right now to really understand the origins of our solar system, the galaxy, and the universe. Um, so we are uh, really excited to help facilitate what looks to be a wonderful few days of exciting science and discussion. And we really want to thank uh, Dr. Jeff uh, Gills Davis for his leadership in uh, hosting survey. I've hosted a number of conferences. I know exactly how much work it takes. <laughs> and so we really appreciate his efforts and the other people who've been involved in organizing this conference. And I also want to give a shout out to Dr. Brad Jolliffe, who is the director of the McDonald Center for Space Sciences, for his support for this conference as well. Um, and for work on space sciences in general. Um, so have a wonderful several days. I will see you again tonight at the public lecture. Um, and thank you again, Jeff, for your leadership. Thank you, Gina. And with that, I invite Greg Schmidt to come up as director of Survey Central and my boss, partly. <laughs> I got two bosses today. <laughs> I Thank didn't you even so know much, how Greg. many I have. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. And um, what a privilege it is to kick off um, yet another NASA Exploration Science Forum. Um, we've been doing this now since 2008, which is, uh, which is kind of amazing. And uh, it, what's even more amazing is to see how things have changed. 
um, and you're going to be hearing a lot about that uh, in the next um, three days. I want to start off with my own set of thanks. First of all, to my friend and lead scientist for uh, the ICE 5 team, um, Jeff, for, for agreeing to do this. I know how much work it is as well to put something like this on. Um, he's had a very capable team as well to help him um, do this. Um, I made the decision a few years ago, back in 2019, that we needed to move our annual meeting to, uh, um, to RPI locations for a variety of reasons, but, um, but basically so that the community can own this meeting. Um, I felt that that was really important. And I think this is, um, this is happening and we have so much engagement um, uh, that, uh, that wasn't happening to the extent it is now. I also um, want to thank Deanna um, for her um, warm welcome as well. And, and to my good friend, Brad Jolliffe um, too, for um, all he's done behind the scenes. And Trust me, it's it's a lot. So um, you know, it's uh, it's just fantastic, and I look forward to the next um, three days. Um, I also want to thank um, doctors Addie Dove and Chip Shearer for uh, for their hard work um, as the, our uh, science organizing committee chairs and the rest of the science organizing committee as well. Um, one of our slides here shows who um, they all are, and uh, and then. Of course, as always, I want to thank my partner in crime and Deputy Director of Survey, Christina Gibbs, who, who really um, tirelessly worked on, uh, on all of this, um, despite uh, our uh, efforts in supporting an eclipse, you know, with uh, getting, getting an eclipse stream to 30 or 40 million of our, um, of our best Friends, on on uh, April eighth, um, she had a son that just graduated from uh, uh, from high school and starts college in a few weeks. And so, despite all that, she put tireless efforts into this. Um, we have a great meeting ahead, and and for reasons that I'll talk about uh, after um, after Christina says a few words. Um, you know, we had some changes and uh, um, that we had to make last minute, but we did that successfully. So just a handful of the highlights and apologies to those who I, who I might miss because the whole meeting um, to me is super exciting. Um, Joel Kearns has agreed to talk. We'll, I'll be introducing him in just a couple of um, minutes and uh, um, that's gonna be uh, just this morning. Um, we have um, a, an exciting update on, uh, from our uh, headquarters friends on, on what's going on with the lunar program, including Artemis, but other things as well. Um, I wanna say, I, I, I wrote this down. It, every meeting until now, we've been talking about the moon and the future tense. We can talk about it in the present tense now. You know, we had a commercial mission that went there. And so, wow. And, and a couple more this year, you're, you know, Deborah Needham is going to be talking about, uh, about those. So we live in a very, very exciting time. Um, if you're interested in the moon, as we all are tonight, we have Dr. Robin Knepp, um, who is a member of the National Academy, um, who is going to be talking on uh, the origin of the moon. Um, super exciting um, topic. I hope you can all make it to that. Um, and then tomorrow, we have Drs. Lori Glaze and Gina DiBraccio representing the exploration side of the house, as well as the planetary side of the house at headquarters. And uh, having senior um, you know, headquarters leadership here um, is, is important. And I'm just immensely grateful to both of them for, uh, for making the trip. They're only going to be here for a day. So, uh, um, and they're going to be participating, by the way, in, in the uh, student networking lunch for all of you um, students and others that will be attending that. And then we have an emergency league um, town hall um, as well on, uh, on Thursday. Three of the events um, are open to everyone. We, we made the decision that um, we at Survey, you know, our, our, you know, our prime goal, the prime directive for Star Trek fans is serving the community. Um, and so um, we, we have made three of our events open to everyone. You have seen 
on Lunar L. Um, I posted links to these. So Joel's talk that we're going to be hearing in just a few minutes, uh, open to everyone. Um, Robin's talk tonight is open to everyone, and the League Town Hall is open to, uh, to everyone. And so this is kind of a, a first um, for us. 